and I was kind of hoping you might be smiling and skipping into the studio, but unfortunately you're not. I'm always smiling when I see you, Vanessa. Yeah. Uh, but, um, and I think that out of this budget, it did sound like it was the good news story yes. that we'd see a freeze to alcohol duty. And of course, no increases. We'll take that every day of the week. But the reality is for the cost of a pint to come down, we would have had to see a duty cut. And that wasn't announced today. Mm -hmm. Alongside other things that we had argued and put the case forward for very strongly to support our pubs and our brewers on business rates and also on VAT to help us get through this very, very difficult economic turbulent time that we're experiencing. So what had you said? What did you say you wanted when you were pressing your case? What did you say? Well, because of the cost inflation that we're experiencing and the pressures coming through, in April, for example, we are facing a cliff edge of 450 million of extra costs that will go through because of the announcements that the government made in increases to business rates and also increases to wages. Um, so the value of the, the save that we've made on alcohol duty of 140 million, it is good saving to be made, but the reality is against that 450, we're still under huge taxation pressures and that's going to make it very difficult for pubs to have somewhere to go to pass that on to consumers. So talk to me about what it's like running a pub at a profit these days because we know that pubs are closing down at the most frightening rate of knots, aren't they? Yes, yeah, sadly, three, uh, uh, 530 pubs closed last year and wow. we're still seeing that acceleration in the rate of closures. So we need to do everything we can to support our pubs. They're the high, at the heart of the high street. They are also at the hub of their communities and without them, we'll be not only economically poorer, but we'll also be socially poorer. Yeah, absolutely. That's a huge value that they bring. So what we need is recognition of the pressure we're under, the serious compression that the pub sector has been through, particularly during the pandemic. We needed some relief. So the pressure now on them, um, and I'm afraid, I'm afraid the closure rates are likely to increase, and we need to be leaning in to support business. I think that's what was missing from the budget today, the real support there for that growth agenda. Will we be able to grow in this period of time? I'm not sure, but I hope that people will go out buy an extra pint with their £900 in their pocket mm -hmm. and that will hopefully help support their local. Tell me about the, the role of chains when it comes to pubs, the big chains. Are they, are they essentially kind of blotting out the small individual breweries and small individual pub landlords? We Is that how it's working? a wonderfully diverse ecosystem of pubs up and right. down this country. And if you think about a big chain like Weatherspoons, for example, it takes on big buildings in the heart of towns and cities around the country that others can't repurpose. It turns them into viable businesses and provides a value pub option for lots of people up and down the country. Country, just as valuable as the independent in that local village that absolutely is the hub of that community and the only place or maybe the only public service that they have access to yes. is in their local pub. Um, so the reality is we need to support everybody in there. Every pub is a business in that community that we need to keep going in order to support the high street, support that community and hopefully make us all feel better. Well, thank you, Emma, very much indeed.